Today, let's discuss should we use the solar panels in hydroponic systems? Can we use it for electricity requirements? So let's see can we use solar panels in a hydroponic system and how cost-effective it will be. Generally, hydroponic systems are of two types. The first one is semi-automatic and the second one is fully automatic. Hydroponic does not have a manual type because somehow it depends on electricity and you need to use timers in a system. So in semi-automatic, you have to run either two or four motors. You have to run a fogger pump, which will work as your humidifier. And for the electricity, you need to do a wiring setup for lights in the Paula house. In fully automatic, you have a fan pad system, dosing system, pH balancer system, humidifier system, in some of the cases, dehumidifier system, temperature monitoring system, and fogger system. So this all systems are present in fully automatic. So generally in a fully automatic system, the energy requirement is so high as compared to a semi-automatic system. So in the semi-automatic system, the electricity requirement is quite low and it can easily be replaced by the solar system. So if you are setting up for a solar system, then you have to be sure that your solar system should receive an active sunlight stream for at least four to five hours, and then you can store the energy. By using an inventor, you can make use of this solar energy. Generally, you must use DC motors, which will increase your initial cost. But these motors are cost-effective in a long run in a solar panel system. If you are using AC motors, then it will be a costlier affair for operation costs, because the energy produced by solar panels shall not be enough. Now, let's talk about a fully automatic system. In this system, the electricity consumption is so high. In the fully automatic system, the solar panel is not so fruitful because the initial capex of a solar panel is so high. And to run this system, the panels which are used are very big. Because of high initial capex, it's not so feasible for a fully automatic system. So here, we suggest if you are running a semi-automatic system, as we have seen in the hydroponic masterclass course, then you can use solar panels and run this semi-automatic system. But if you are running a fully automatic system and you don't have enough electricity at your farm location, then you need a standby generator to run your farm successfully. So you can't fully depend on a solar system while running a fully automatic system. Learn more interesting stuff about hydroponics with us. You can also learn more about setting up your commercially successful hydroponic farm with us. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get upcoming videos on hydroponic growing to become commercially successful in this domain. Also, consider pressing a like button on this video. It will help us understand should we continue making more videos like this or not. See you in the next video with another interesting topic and hidden secrets of hydroponics.